Hello everyone, my name is Batayeva Galia and I am happy to present our research on the topic Creating a thesaurus crime-related web content based on a multilingual corpus. This research has been conducted by Galia Batayeva, Urken Mamarbaev, Nina Hairova, Nina Rizun, Sanjar Sultan Birdali and Kurolai Mohsina. The issue of creating software tools and the mechanisms to assist in the detection and the prevention of criminal activities through online textual information remains a major challenge today. Although numerous applications have been developed to tackle this problem, such as hate speech detection, crime modeling, crime prediction, identification of crime-related topics, and many more. The challenge of text-based crime prevention and the investigation in computer-mediated communication and social networking communication still requires more efficient and effective methods of criminal content analysis. This can be achieved through the application of subject matter knowledge, which will enable the development of more advanced techniques for detecting and preventing criminal activities based on online textual information. Criminal investigations involve the collection and the analysis of large volumes of data from various sources. The data include crime scene information, witness statements, forensic evidence and the criminal records. The complexity and the size of this data make it difficult for investigators to identify and analyze the relevant information efficiently. In order to make the automatic processing of text more qualitative and reliable, it's necessary to use knowledge both about language and about surrounding world. Knowledge about world can be represented using ontologies, system of concepts for which relations are described and the inference rules are given. In this study, in order to extract specific lexical resources from the text for the multilingual ontology being created, two corpuses dedicated to criminal topics were used. The first multilingual corpus includes text in Ukrainian, English and Russian. The information for its filling was obtained from Internet news websites using the Python library parser Beautiful Soap. The texts in Ukraine were automatically downloaded from the official website of Ukrainska Pravda as well as from the website of Glavcom. The Ukrainian subcorpus contains 3,147 texts. The English language texts were obtained from the Corpus Christi, Texas newspaper Color Times, crime section. This subcorpus currently contains 300 texts. The texts in Russian were obtained from the news website Red Post, a Kharkiv socio-political regional uh, publication, namely from the section Crime and the Incident. This part of the corpus contains 5,506 texts. The second multilingual corpus which is used as a base for ontology generation is a parallel Kazakh-Russian corpus which has been developing for more than three years. Expansion and addition of this parallel corpus was carried out by parsing four new sites of the information internet space of Kazakhstan, Zakon KZ, Karavan KZ, Lenta KZ, Nur KZ. At the moment, the volume of parallel Kazakh-Russian corpus contains 3,000 texts in Russian and 3,000 texts in Kazakh, including 2,000 texts with aligned Kazakh-Russian sentences. The basic sources of illegal internet content ontology generation are the developed parallel Kazakh-Russian corpus which includes texts containing criminal news and the web application of multilingual basic ontology illegal web content. The basic vocabulary of thesaurus was obtained manually from crime texts in English, Ukrainian, Kazakh and Russian. Seven basic thematic categories were selected. Movement, traffic, accident, injure, orphans, arrest, trial and the police department, which allowed making the thesaurus narrowly thematic. This choice of categories is conditioned by the subject matter of the information resource used to fill the thesaurus. The investigated criminal news items are mostly related to the three criminal areas, police, transport, crime, and their subtypes. 
The thesaurus includes nouns, verbs, and adjectives of the four parts of speech. Figure shows the structural diagram of the developed thesaurus, whose XML document includes three main elements, nouns, verbs, and adjectives, which in turn includes child elements term. Each term element represents a word of this part of speech and its synonyms in English, Ukrainian, Kazakh, and Russian, in the corresponding child elements lemma and the synset. The domain elements of the dictionary denotes one of the seven thematic categories related to crimes and illegal actions. Each element specified in the term tag represents a word of the given part of speech with its synonym series, synsets, definitions, examples, hyponyms, and hypernyms in the four languages represented by the XML child element. The most numerous relations between the synsets of nouns is the generic relations, while the specific synset is called a hyponym and is a generic hyponym. Figure shows a fragment of the thesaurus, which currently includes about 600 main words, about 330 nouns, about 107 adjectives and 168 verbs, and more than 2,500 synonyms of main words. The thesaurus will be supplemented in the next stage of the study with an extended use of bigram. This paper presents the development of crime anthology based on the Flask web framework and the Anitri library. The Flask web framework is a lightweight web application framework written in Python. It's commonly used for web development, including the creation of RESTful APIs, and uh, the Anitri library is a Python library for working with three data structures. It provides an easy-to-use API for creating, navigating, and modifying the three structures. The ontology was implemented using the Flask Web Framework and the Anitri library. The Flask Web Framework was used to create a web-based interface for the ontology. The interface allowed users to browse and search the ontology and to add, modify, and delete ontology elements. The Anitri library was used to manage the ontology's hierarchical structure. Capabilities of the web application with ontology visualization. Domain search, multilingual search by keyword, three depths. Thus, the developed web application shown in figure has an interface that allows full visualization of the contents of the thesaurus. Dictionary preprocessing. Paper presents an algorithm for processing data from a raw dictionary file and transforming it into a JSON format file that can be used for further analysis. The algorithm of dictionary preprocessing is shown in figure. The first step is to load all the necessary libraries, including the library for working with XML files. Then the raw dictionary file is located and opened. Open file and the transform input into an appropriated format for the further processing. The next step is to read the data from the raw dictionary file and transform it into a format that can be processed by the algorithm. This might involve parsing the data, converting it to a specific data type, or extracting specific information. Search by key attributes according to the architecture of the three. The algorithm searches for specific attributes in the data using the architecture of the three. This might involve searching for specific keys or values in the data or using a more complex search algorithm to find the desired attributes. If attribute is found, then insert needed attribute, of, if not, set in known. Once the desired attribute is located, the algorithm inserts the relevant information into the data structure. If the attribute is not found, the algorithm sets the failure to none. Search and the insert target attributes. The algorithm search for the target attributes in the data and the insert the relevant information. This might involve searching for specific keys or values in the data, or using a more complex search algorithm to find the desired attributes. Export document to JSON format file, which will be processed by other functions in further steps. 
launching the web application. The web application has forms with the fields used in the interface. They are described in a separate file with forms, whereas the client interface is described, part of the design is described in separate files. The following windows are implemented in the web application, main request page and the search result page. The Flask-based web application has been developed for ontology generation using the Anitary library. This application provides an intuitive user interface for constructing and visualizing ontologies, as well as the ability to expert ontologies in a variety of standard formats. The Anitary library allows for easy manipulation of tree structures and provides a range of tools for constructing ontologies, including support for multilingual ontologies. Thank you for your attention.